Hello, today we're going to talk about autofocus points and how to move them around to keep your subject in focus. Okay, so I'll be showing you this on the 5D Mark III, but other Canon cameras are very similar. First we're going to look at three buttons. This one I call autofocus grid, I think it's actually called autofocus area select. The second one is called auto exposure autofocus lock. And the third one, autofocus. Okay, starting with the first and most important. Depending on your menu settings, you may have to press this button here, the autofocus grid button, or the M-FN in the front here. And when you press that, you're gonna see uh, uh, some menu options come up here for your autofocus grid. You can go from manual select spot to one point to area. If you continue on, uh, the grid gets larger and it surrounds the spot here. This one is filled in and notice when you move it around uh, it shows you which autofocus points will be used. And I'm going to go back to this one. This one you can actually bridge between the left and right sides. You can actually go to any, any of the 61 autofocus points you want, uh, which is great. And this guy here, this one actually encompasses all of them and will find the closest target plus it'll track. So if a subject starts off on the one side, it'll actually migrate and move to the other side um, according to the subject that it locked onto. To have your AF system automatically tracking your subject, hit autofocus drive and then make sure that you're on AI servo. AI focus also will do this, but it starts off as in one as in one shot. So that'll start off focusing and locking on, and only when that subject moves a certain amount will it start to track them. So if you want it to be snappy, put it into AI servo. Button number two. When you press this, it actually gives you autofocus and auto exposure lock. It's actually a programmable button. So you can have it just focus or just lock the autofocus or just lock the exposure. Um, let's say you're taking a shot and you want the photo to be brighter or darker very quickly and you can see that over here it would be exposing properly for you. So you point the camera here, hold down the star button which locks your exposure and then reframe and take your shot. Or vice versa, do that same thing with the focus. Point it at something that has the distance you want, then point it back through that bush or whatever to so that that bird is now in focus because it was the same distance away as that subject you pointed at earlier. So you can auto focus or auto exposure lock or both at the same time. It's actually a programmable button. So I'm going to hit menu and then go to custom controls under one of the custom setting menus. And we're going to go into that, scroll down to the one that has the uh, little asterisk there, the star, and we can look at this auto exposure lock metering and autofocus start so it'll actually start your metering and autofocus without having to press the shutter uh, halfway down and next one is autofocus stop um, autofocus can be stopped let's say you're sh you found your, your subject in focus but it's a dark situation your camera you think may start to hunt on you after this but you can just press that star and you know that your focus won't be adjusting after that um, auto or FE lock that's flash exposure lock so um, if you want the flash power output not to adjust up or down from from whichever set situation you're pointing your camera at you can press that um, auto exposure lock talked about that in the first place um, in this case it says hold so you're going to be able to uh, lock the exposure when you hold that button down, which is kind of a neat way to use the tool. And if this doesn't appeal to you, you can actually turn it off and then it won't be doing anything funny on you. So there's that menu. Um, yeah, then let's look at button three. AF on is a simple one. It actually just allows you to focus your camera. Now you're thinking, why would I want a button on the back if my shutter button already focuses? For those who are interested in sports photography especially, you know, you know when you take that picture and your camera um, won't allow you to take that picture? Probably because the camera hasn't found the focus yet. But it does have the option where you, when you press the button down, it'll take the picture regardless, even if it's just slightly out of focus. Um, 
Now you can press this button on the back here to autofocus, and then you can press this button in the front to, fo to, to actually take the picture. They can be controlled separately. You can have the button in the front take the picture regardless if it's in focus or not, and the one in the back autofocus. This is handy for, let's say you're shooting a wedding or something, you got a lot of people walking around, you're trying to point through the crowd of people. You can autofocus onto your subject, and then you can let go once your subject's found, and you just press the button and your camera won't try to find a new focus even if people are in the way, which is actually a handy tool. Thank you for watching. I hope it's been educational. If you have any questions, please comment below.